I'm Dr. Lori. This is What's It Worth. I've got my new friend Karen. Hi, Karen, with Hi. me today. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. What'd you bring me? Tell me what you've got. Well, I have a bowl, and um, I got this bowl probably 20, 25 years ago okay. at a yard sale. Bought it at a yard sale. I bought it at a yard sale. Do you go to a lot of yard sales? Uh, not a lot, but a lot. you know, a couple maybe each summer. Once in a while. If I see something that looks interesting, I yeah. stop and you stop. Yeah. So you're driving and you're like, oh, I'm gonna stop. It's not like you're making, you know, a mission, you know, like a pilgrimage to the yard right. sale. It's just, oh, I'm going to, oh, well, that's interesting. And exactly. I might need one, oh, okay. All right, that happens a lot. A lot of people like yard sales. I do. Yeah, do you stick to a budget? I don't even really think about it. I, okay. I kind of browse, and if something kind of catches my eye, or sometimes I'm looking for something specific. Okay. And then I kind of have a budget. So when you bought this, how much was it? Do you remember? I had a stack. They had a stack of dishes. I think they were maybe two or three dollars. Oh, okay. And I had bought a bookcase, and I was looking for something decorative to put on the bookcase. Okay. And I picked up the bowls, and um, I've had it ever since. So you bought this one, a couple bucks is what you paid, right? Right. Did you negotiate at the yard sale? Did you say, you want a couple bucks, I'll I, give you half? I didn't. I think no. it was two or three dollars Because you thought was fine. it's not a lot of money and yeah. what the heck, right? right? Okay. Thank Always you. negotiate. That's first. Always. Right. Oh my gosh, Lori, really? At a yard sale? Yeah. Always negotiate. Okay. okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will basically, at certain times in your yard sale, right? Mm -hmm. They'll say, you know what? It's almost lunchtime. Sure. Take it or I'll give you a deal. So you might as well ask. Exactly. Okay. Always use cash and be polite when you're negotiating. Let's talk about your bowl. My bowl. Your bowl has, and everyone will look first of all, let's look at the object. Um, you have um, some hand painting in the base of the bowl. You also have some gilding or gold leaf around the bowl. And then these little, they look like snowflake flowers basically, but these flowers here, the petaled flowers around the bowl are actually stenciled on. So, hmm. so a couple of different processes to make this porcelain bowl look the way it now looks. Okay. All right. So you have, of course, the porcelain mold that's first done. And the porcelain mold here is rather important. If you look on the bottom, you're going to see a number here. This yes. is a mold number. Okay. This I indicates the shape of the piece. Oh, okay. Okay, it's not a date. It's not, oh, from 1854 or 1954. 54 <laughs> means the mold is number 54. Okay. So when they're actually making the piece of porcelain all white, clear before it's decorated, it's going to be this shape. I see. Okay? okay, that's what the 54 means. Now I know. Now, so basically, it also will tell you, oh, it's not a piece that was imported into the United States. This piece is American. It was made oh, here. Okay. There's not a term France, Germany, this, that, wherever other countries' names on it. Okay. Hmm. Your, this particular piece is a piece which dates to about 1900. Okay. Between 1900 and about 1915. So it's rather old. Technically, it's an antique. Okay. Right? So it's more than 100 years old. Got it. So okay. we're at 2019, more than 100 years old, this piece is an antique, right? Interesting. Yeah. So people will say everything's an antique, and in fact, you and I, we're not antiques, we're not vintage. Yet. Not yes. yet. <laughs> Got to be 100. Okay. It is hand-painted in the center, and it's a classical revival image. So gods, goddesses, mythological figures, that kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. what you have in the center. Okay. And then you have the guild work that we talked about, and of yes. course, the glazing of the green. These particular pieces were also made in a very russet red, a very bright okay. yellow, Whoa. Right? and also you would see a, a pink color. So you, and you can also see a blue. Okay. So these bowls would have small fruit bowls to go with your large fruit bowl. They'd have small fruit bowls that would be either that same green color or they mm. also would be multicolored, okay. depending. Right. Did you see at the yard sale any of those smaller bowls that went with your large bowl? I didn't. Okay. This bowl also is known as a cabinet bowl. What does that mean, Lori? Well, what that means is it's intended to go up in the cabinet because so, if you put any food stuff on top of this hand-painted work, uh -huh. you won't have the hand-painted work ah, anymore. Okay. So it's intended for decoration. For exactly what you wanted. Okay. You said, oh, I bought that bookcase and I wanted something decorative. That's what you That's got. That's what I got. That's what you got. Okay. So any idea about value? You paid a couple dollars for it. I have no idea. Do you think you did a good job? I think so. I yeah. enjoyed it all these years. You enjoyed it all these years. Mm -hmm. It's worth about $60. Okay. Yeah. It is porcelain. It is... Um, Relatively fragile. If you drop it, it will crack and break. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. And remember with these particular pieces, if you are cleaning pieces of porcelain, you want to be careful not to use commercial cleaners or harsh abrasives. Uh, this particular piece would be best cleaned with a soft cotton cloth to make sure that you don't take any of the decoration off of it. I'm Dr. Lori. Thanks so much for being with me. What's it worth?